Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. And right now, the Smart Suite team is working on a brand new feature that I think is going to make your lives a lot better and make the system even a better user experience. This feature that we're talking about is called Dynamic Filters. It's something that's been a request for a while in the community, but this is something that there's a lot of momentum now to make it happen. And if you're watching this video, I'm specifically asking you for your feedback to help provide as they're building this feature. So to kick it off, we'll be linking to this feature request inside of Canny. Feel free to leave your use cases and comments down below. We'll also be creating a post here inside of the community, and you can feel free to leave feedback there as well. Let's talk about what this is and how it will be useful to you. And let's talk about it through the context of an example. So I am inside of a CRM right now. This is a traditional business to business. We're selling to businesses with our CRM. We've got our accounts. These are the businesses or organizations that we deal with. We've got contacts. These are the people who work at those businesses. And you can see we've got that linked relationship between accounts and contacts. We have our opportunities where we're tracking how much potential revenue we can get with these businesses and to see the points of contact, the people that we're actually dealing with there. Now, in current state, if we were to take a look at our linked records, our accounts or contacts, we'd be able to change our field settings. And in our field settings and in advanced settings, you know that you've got the ability to add some kind of filter. So we could say only show me contacts that are currently active or contacts where the lead status equals XYZ. That kind of filtering is really helpful to be able to preset and only see a certain number of contacts so that you're not searching through all the contacts in the system. But that is something that I would call a static filter, meaning that filter sits there and you'd have to change that filter if you want to see some other grouping for it. But imagine this use case. If we have an opportunity and I'm choosing that account on here, so I'll say that this is about and forever that I'm working with, then why, when we go to the contacts, why would we want to scroll through hundreds, thousands of contacts, even searching for names? If you have a big CRM, you might have 25 Dans in the system. Why would we want to put that work on the user as opposed to saying, if we know that this account is about and forever, only show me the contacts that work at about in forever. This is that idea of dynamic filtering that based on something that we're populating over here, like an account, now we're only going to see the related contacts to it. And this will create such a better user experience because now it's going to save time as you're clicking, as you're relating records. Let's talk about another example just to kind of frame this problem. This comes up a lot when we talk about form submissions. So maybe you have some kind of form that you put on your website, you're using smart suite forms. And let's imagine that I had several different retail locations. And at each of those locations, you might wanna to talk to a specific employee that's there. So I could have an app for locations, an app for employees. And if you selected Fargo location, you would only want to be able to choose from the employees that work at that Fargo location. You wouldn't want to see at all of our 17 other locations where those employees are from, we'd want to filter that list dynamically. So that's one more example. I'm working with a client. I'm not going to show you this one on screen because this is his own setup, but he's a manufacturer. He creates custom office signs. And as he's creating those signs, he has all sorts of different material to be able to choose from to create those signs. He might have over a thousand different material type records in there, but it's really hard to choose from those lists because the material are very similar. Now imagine if we could say, if I choose this kind of office sign type, let me choose from these five or 10 material records as opposed to choosing from this whole list of a thousand. So I hope this is kind of getting your brains moving of like, oh yeah, here's where I can use this in my own business. And this is where we'd love to get your feedback. So as I mentioned in the links below, we're going to have both a link to the community if you want to kind of have conversation about it. We'll also link to the feature request that's inside of Canny. Um, so feel free to leave your comments, talk about the use cases that you are interested in. Maybe there's some gotchas where you're like, oh, this would be great, but can we do this? That's the exact kind of feedback that the SmartSuite team is looking for right now. So go ahead, 
fill out your feedback. Let us know how this would be really helpful. Of course, if you need any help with your own implementation of SmartSuite, feel free to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering a free 30-minute consultation.